is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this tutorial video is about using Snapseed and Google Photos on a Chromebook. Now, this might look like a laptop computer, like a Windows or a Mac, but it's not. It is a Chromebook. You cannot run Windows programs on it or Mac programs. So what does it run? Well, it's a Chromebook, meaning the basic way to use it is by using the Chrome browser. Now, anything you can do on the Chrome browser on any kind of computer, you can do here. For example, you can go to Geeks on Tour. Or you can go to Google Maps. Those are websites. The second way you can use a Chromebook is with what's called web apps. And you get web apps. There are these little buttons up here. Those are in, inserted into the, the Chrome browser. They're called extensions or web apps. And you get them by tapping on that little circle in the lower left-hand corner. That's called the launcher. And then you need to find the web store. That one right there. Web store is how you get web apps that become buttons in your browser here. And there's there's a bunch of them. But the last way, and not all Chromebooks can do this, so you need to check if your Chromebook, first of all, it needs to be a touch screen, and then it might be able to run Android apps, just like your Android phone or tablet. To get those, you need the Play Store, and it might be right here, like mine is. Mine is already set up. If yours is not, you might need to read the directions for your Chromebook and see, number one, if it's capable of getting apps from the Play Store, Android apps, and number two, if it's set up. You might need to go into your settings and there is a section in your settings for Google Play Store. Make sure that is turned on. Snapseed is one of those apps that is a Play Store app. It is not available on the web. It is not available as a web app. So we go to the Play Store. And search for Snapseed. And there it is. Notice I already have it installed, so I don't need to do it again. Once you have Snapseed installed, you can use it all by itself, although we recommend using it through Google Photos. That'll be the next video. But just to use it all by itself, you get it from your launcher. That's the circle in the lower left-hand corner. My, I've used mine recently, so it's on the recently used row. And you get to this blank screen. Tap anywhere to open a photo, or right there for open. I'll just tap anywhere. And now I have choices of my recently used photos or things that were downloaded or things that are from my OneDrive account or my Google Photos account. Let's go from my Google Photos account. And now I can get things that are on, on the device, device folders, or from my main Google Photos library. And I want to edit this one. Now, this was a great day at the beach, but this is a pretty blah picture. First thing, I want to crop it. Need to get rid of that power line in the corner. So there's crop. And make sure to watch, I think it was episode 136, is more instructions on using Snapseed. So there, we cropped that line out. And even a little bit more. I think I want to change the aspect ratio to 16.9. There we go. There we go. That's the part that I want. And you check mark. Now I just want it to be prettier. And I find that it is the tune image that I like the most.
You rub your finger up and down to see the choices. I like ambiance. Then you rub your finger left and right. And this is just so nice on this big screen. Lots more room to work with than on a little phone. And I want a little more saturation, more color. There. And check mark. And I am done. You can see what the photo looks like before and after by just touch and hold. That's before the edits. That's after the edits. All right, I like that. To save it, then, you tap on that little down arrow. And I just want to save. And then we're done. We can go back and we're back to the beginning. That's how you use Snapseed all by itself. Next video is with Google Photos.